Hello there, Captain Skidmore again with AGS. Um, today we're going to talk about the Assignment Special Instructions Query Screen, or AS. Uh, if you navigate yourself to the left side of the screen where it says Enter Option Desired, please place your cursor on the line in front of that, put in S, and then press Enter. This is the Assignment Special Instruction Query Record Selection Screen. So just to navigate you to this screen, again, the top left is the code for this screen in EDAS, and then the query uh, spelled out, and the right-hand side is the time and date. You would come to Assignment Special Instructions Query when you want to know how many people who are currently on orders, or what we say currently filling a requisition, have special instructions. The difference between this screen and assignment query is that there's no way to narrow the focus of the output of this screen. What do I mean by that? I mean that there's no way to find just the gains to your unit. <clears throat> there's no incoming with an I option. The best case scenario is that you type in DMSL and it's going to give you everyone on instructions on, well, excuse me, everyone on orders that are assigned to that DMSL. They could be coming, they could be leaving. So it's really important to understand. The very three ways of navigating this screen are exactly the same. The top, um, you may enter eight different requisition numbers. The middle, you may enter eight different social security numbers. And then the bottom, entering single or range values. Just to show you what that may look like, we're going to enter a requisition number. That requisition number is going to be the following, 5S20120300. After you put your requisition number in, you need to press enter. So now we're in the requisition for a Brian Levine you are going to see all the data associated with that requisition. Note the location. At the bottom half of this screen, you're going to see his special instructions. Now, navigating through his special instructions. There's two pages of special instructions, and then there's 12 pages of special instruction code. In order to navigate just the two pages here, you need to use this identifier. Remember, N is next and P stands for previous. So you want to come to next page and you want to put an N here if you want to go to two of two. Press enter. You are now on page two of two of special instructions. Say you want to know or you want to read, excuse me, the special instructions code, um, maybe two of 12. You come here where it says next special instructions. Remember, N is next and P is previous. I want to see page 2 of 12 of Special Instructions Code. So I place my cursor here and I press in and press enter. I am now on page 2 of 12. Understood? Go to where next. Type in AS and press enter. You're now back on the Assignment Special Instructions screen. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you run it with a social security number. The social security number I'm going to use today is the following, 86281346. Please press enter. You're now looking at the special instructions for one Paul Morgan. At the top, in the left side of the screen, you're going to see his requisition number, his name, so on and so forth. Please note the location again. It's going to be really important, the location, when we run this query with just single values. In the bottom, you have the special instructions, and then at the bottom, you would navigate the same way that you navigated for the last record. Please go to Where Next and type in AS and press Enter. You're now on the return of the special instructions screen. The single or range values usually used when you don't know the particulars about a person. You're basically just shooting a bunch of criteria out into the system and you want to know what's going to come back. A way to kind of narrow this down is by using your own unit. So 
let's say I'm currently in the DMSL 21 mic, second BCT, 10th Mountain Division. And let's say I wanna narrow my focus to just 11 Bravos. And let's further narrow that by just searching for Sergeant First Classes or E7s. Now I'd like you to press enter. What did I ask the system? I asked the system how many 11 Bravos that are Sergeant First Classes are on orders or on special instructions, in this case, um, in 2nd BCT, 10th Mountain Division. Now remember what I said, they could be coming or going. In other words, they could be gains or losses. This is just gonna tell you who has special instructions. That's when this comes into mind. Everyone look at the right-hand side of your corner here in the screen where it says lock in M. That is the location for this requisition. If it says Fort Drum, New York, He's a gain. If it says something else, he's a loss. Just a really quick way to make that distinction. You're gonna navigate this screen the same way that you navigated, navigated the others. However, if you decide or desire, excuse me, to go to another record, if you look at the bottom, displaying requests from one through 14, there's 14 records. Go to record desired and simply type in zero, two. Press enter. I'm now at the second record of 14. That belongs to Chris Ritchie. If you'd like to move on to run another query, just simply go to where next, type in AS, and press enter.